let's multiply complex numbers. Now before we can multiply complex numbers, you need to know what i squared is because you will end up having i squared in your equation if you multiply a complex number or an imaginary number. Now we know that i, or the value of the imaginary number, is equal to the square root of negative 1. Now if we have i squared, we can simplify i squared as the square of the square root of negative 1. And we know that if we have a square root and a square, it cancels each other out. So i squared is therefore negative 1. So from this formula, now that we know that i squared is equal to negative 1, we can simplify or multiply imaginary numbers and complex numbers using i squared. So let's take a look at example number 1. On example number 1, we have 2i squared. And we know that we can simplify i squared by changing it into negative 1. Because we know that i squared is simply negative 1. So if we have 2i squared, we can rewrite it as 2 times negative 1, which is the value of i squared. And we know that 2 times negative 1 is simply negative 2. So therefore, 2i squared is simply equal to negative 2. So from an imaginary number, now you have your real number. So that's what an i squared is when you multiply an i and an i, or two i's together. Now for the second example, we have quantity 4i raised to the second power. Now if we have an exponent of 2 and we have a term 4i, we can distribute the exponent 2 using the law of exponent and we'll have 4 raised to 2 and i raised to the second power. Now this is a common error. Sometimes students who raise 4i to the second power, they only raise i to the second power and forgot the constant or the coefficient of i and totally forgot to square them. So make sure that when you are dealing with parentheses, you are distributing the exponent to both the coefficient and to your i. So we have 4 squared minus i squared, and we know that 4 squared is 16, and i squared is negative 1. Therefore, 4i raised to the second power is simply negative 16. Now for the third example, we are multiplying two imaginary numbers. And if we multiply two imaginary numbers, our product will become a real number. And let's see how it will work out. So 7 times 2 is 14, and i times i is i squared. And i squared, as we know for a fact, is negative 1. So 14 times negative 1 is equal to negative 14. So once again, if you multiply two imaginary numbers, you might end up with a real part, and that's what happened on example number three. Now the distributive, distributive property of imaginary number. So we have two examples, and we have a set of complex number, and it's multiplied with an imaginary number. So for number one, we have i times two plus three i, and using the distributive property, we'll have 2i plus 3i squared. And we know that i squared is equal to negative 1, so we can change 3i squared automatically into negative 3. So we have 2, 2i plus or minus 3, and we know that plus or minus, when you multiply them out, will be a negative sign, so we have 2i minus 3. Now this is already a complex number, and this is already in simplest form. However, 2i minus 3 is not in standard form. So you need to change or simplify your complex number to its standard form, wherein the real part comes first before the imaginary part. So the final answer for our problem number 1 would be negative 3 plus 2i. And for example number 2, we have 4i times 7 minus 5i. 5i. Distributing 4i to 7 gives us 28i, and 4i times negative 5i will give us 20i squared. By simplifying the value of i squared, which is negative 1, we'll end up with 28i minus negative 20. Negative and negative becomes positive, so we have 28i plus 20, and simplifying it into its standard form, the final answer should be 20 plus 28i. Now, multiplying two complex numbers together. When you multiply two complex numbers, let's say 2 plus 3i and 5 plus 4i, 
we'll use the FOIL method. So it's similar to multiplication of binomials. So you already know how to uh, multiply binomials, so you should be able to multiply complex numbers of this form. So we have 2 times 5, which is 10, 2 times 4i, which is 8i, and 3i times 5, which is 5i, and 3i times 4i is 12i squared. Now watch out for the square for i because most students for, forget that they need to multiply i and i and they'll leave the i or the square behind. So now that we have this equation, we can simplify it by combining like terms. So we can combine the middle terms, which is 8i and 15i, which gives us 23i. We didn't do with 10, we didn't do anything with 10, so we're just copying 10 right here. However, 12i squared can still be simplified, and we can change i squared into negative 1. And once we multiply it with a negative or 12 with a negative 1, it will be changed into negative 12. So now, we can combine 10 and 12 together because they are both real number. So 10 minus 12 plus 23i is simply negative 2 plus 23i. And it's in standard form already. And that's how we multiply two complex numbers using the FOIL method.